Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Wesley Montali and I'm going to do the introduction part of this presentation. The title of our project is um, Makeup Assessment Requisition Plugin. Many students at the University of Zambia uh, face a lot of uh, challenges. These challenges can be financial difficulties, um, medical em emergencies, among others. Yeah, so these challenges withhold them from completing a scheduled um, or scheduled assessments. So the main purpose of this project is to come up with a plugin that aims at uh, automating the process of requesting makeups, makeup assessments via the Moodle website as a plugin. So we're going to come up with a plugin that will, will, that will enable students to request uh, for makeups. Yeah, so included in this software will be the ability for users to submit proof if eligibility for a makeup assessment such as medical report in the event um, health reasons restrict a student from completing an assessment. My colleagues will take it up for from there. Hello, my name is Mwelon Kata. I'll handle the background and related work portion of this presentation. The automation of several administrative processes still have not uh, migrated to an online platform. So students are still required to navigate offices to make uh, makeup assessments. So the, the trouble with this process is that it's often very slow and very inconvenient, especially considering that the convenience of computer mediated interactions. So the project, um, so the, the, the project we're implementing through the modular object-oriented dynamic learning environment, also known as the Moodle website, uh, will provide students with a platform to digitally make requests. So we have chosen to use Moodle as it is. it was created as a platform for open source interactive learning and allows for the provision of different infrastructure to be incorporated in the Moodle core. In terms of related work, many schools are lacking in this type of service and uh, don't supply students with the, with the ability to make requests digitally in the truest form. So students often have to use online forms if, they're, if that service is provided and and it's typically used only for missed examinations. At this point, I'll hand it over to my colleague to continue with the presentation. Um, my name is Mary Makuka. So I'll do the problem statement and the proposed solutions of this project. So currently, there are few provisions by learning institutions to allow students to make digitally to digitally make requests for missed assessments in an event where assessments are missed due to certain reasons. The system also usually requires students to still undergo face to face interactions with their lecturers and is thereby generally a redundant formality when the concerns proceed. Procedure. A situation whereby students have to go 
from office to office to look to ask for to request for makeup assessment. And furthermore, this calls into question the ethicality which makeup which makeup requests are being approved or denied. So the proposed solutions of this project are to ensure the process of makeup requested by students is authenticated and to completely eliminate face-to-face -face interactions for makeup requests whereby we avoid the situation where a student goes from office to office just to ask for just request for a makeup assessment in the case that they miss the actual assessment. And streamlining interaction between lecturers and students requesting makeup assessments. My colleague will take it up from him. Hey guys, my name is Jackson Wanaumu and I'll take you through the procedures and methods that we anticipate to use in our project. Yeah, so the, the software development, which is the plugin in our case that we use for the development, is um, the agile development process, which is basically based on uh, incremental um, development. Then we we'll also use the integration and configuration method. So um, the justifications that you know led to us choosing these methods are uh, that um, firstly, um, due to the nature of the plugin itself, we decided to use the Agile process because we want to make sure that the plugin aligns with user requirements. We we'll do an evaluation of the success of the plugin, that is after we develop it, to see if indeed it has met what we anticipated it to meet. So, in order for us to do that, we'll first start with unit uh, test, which means we will test the components individually. Mm -hmm. And if that passes, we'll go a step further and do a performance test to determine if the interfaces and its components are performing efficiently. Aside that, we'll also do um, a customer acceptance test in order to ensure that the system meets the user's needs. It will have three uh, parts to it. That's the, for the interfaces, there'll be two. There'll be the student's interface and another part, which is the lecturer's interface. So from there, I'll leave it to my colleague to take it up and conclude. Hi, everyone. I'm Makanta Laxman, and I'm going to continue our discussion from where my colleague has left off. There are several foreseeable outcomes by which the success of project will be judged. One of them has to do with the efficient and concise procedure of requesting for a makeup assessment. The biggest achievement that we're going to have upon the completion of this project is to eliminate the face-to-face -face appointments for requesting makeups. So upon the completion, students will be able to request for the makeups remotely and the lecturer will be able to approve this assessment or deny or this request or deny so the criteria will be put in place so that this lecturer will be able to review it assess the authenticity of the uh, proof being provided and also the information being provided together so in conclusion I'm going to say the implementation of the makeup requester plugin will not only ensure a quicker, efficient, and authentic makeup requesting environment for the students, but also for the lecturers as they will approve or deny the request at any time convenient for them. Thank you so much.